Hi, I'm George with George Properties. Once again, taking you where you need to be. A lot of people have been contacting me about digging and excavation. Well, number one, I'm a licensed general contractor and a real estate agent. So in my line of work, we do a lot of flipping of homes and we do a lot of digging and a lot of excavation. So I'm gonna talk to you today about excavation of a trench. So let's say you have a trench that's 60 feet wide at the top, 20 feet uh, wide at the bottom, and 100 feet long, and 30 feet from top to bottom, all right? The surface looks very irregular, but if you think about, think back to elementary, this looks like a what? A trapezoid, all right? So first we find the area of the trapezoid, and then we can calculate the overall volume. So the area of a trapezoid is the 60 at the top times the 20 at the bottom times the height, all that divided by two. All right, so you got six times 36, so that's uh, 36, 36,000 divided by two. And that's 18,000. That's 18,000 square feet. So that's the area that you have of your face. And you take this as a cut set as you're going all the way back. But that's not your overall volume. To calculate the overall volume, you're going to multiply times the area times the total length. And so that'll give you the volume of dirt that you have to excavate. So once you do that, you had 18,000 times 100, and that gives you eight, uh, that gives you 1.8 million cubic feet. So that's how you calculate the volume of the trench that you're excavating. And that's how you, uh, you, you, you excavate a trench. I'm George with George Properties taking you right where you need to be.